Hi, my name is John Getty, and I'm with NetSync, and I'm the NetSync Cloud Product Specialist. And today we're going to talk about the sections of NetSync I.O., one called uh, Deploy, and then we're going to talk about a little bit of our philosophy of how we take feedback from our customers looking for more functionality that we want to see and our customers want to see built into NetSync I.O. Okay, so let's start with Deploy. Um, this is the Deploy section of NetSync I.O., and as you can see, um, we have a particular um, test account pulled up here, and it's got a few automations already built in. And so we're going to kind of talk through some of these, and then we'll talk about some of the other automations that are going to come. Because one of the things that our developers are doing is that they're constantly listening to our customers. And so we don't random, we're not building these automations to keep up with any particular competitor. We're building them because they were actually requested by our customers. And so every automation that you hear see here today um, allows our customers to deploy real infrastructure to get real work done now. And so this is one of the things that we saw a lot of our customers struggling with, is that they would say, look, the cloud is great, we can save money, we can do all these interesting things, but we don't know how to create the infrastructure correctly, we don't know how to do it securely. So we have started to create automations that our customers just get for being part of NetSync as customers. And so let's go through a few of these, and I think you'll see some of the value that we create. The first one uh, is creating an account you'll see that a best practice from AWS is to have multiple accounts. The reason that is, is because each account stands as a security and billing boundary. It is very common for us to see customers have a production account and maybe a development account and maybe even other accounts for training and the like. For larger customers, it's actually really common to see in the dozens of accounts. NetSync IO is built to support that. So it is really quite common to see the need to create another account and create it correctly with a base VPC, the base security, and to create all the different landing zones and things that need to be done per the best practices of AWS. Rather than have to learn how to do all that right out of the box, which we think you should, but we can get you started and get you around the path correctly just simply by clicking. And so all of these automations, and I'm gonna show you on creating an account, can be done simply by clicking here. And you see, rather than having to learn how to create a VPC and the networking and the firewalls and everything that it takes to create a properly provisioned AWS account, we've already automated all that for you. And so all you have to do is click a button, put a description in, which is just gonna be for you to know what account and maybe perhaps who it belongs to, give it a name and click create. And so when you click create, it actually, the automations have already been built it's gonna go out to the AWS cloud, build the account for you, and return back the information to you. And this is gonna take about 45 seconds. What takes most of our customers when they first start in AWS to do by hand, normally takes between two to six months to get this far. We've taken that and we provide an automation that does it correctly. It follows all the AWS best practices, and it does it in a matter of minutes and allows you to get actual work done. Okay, so we've done that for several workloads that we think are very important. From a security standpoint, people forget a lot of times to talk about why backup is an important part of security. And so one of the first things that we always do is we say, do you have backups? Can you restore? And if they do, then life is a lot better. And if they don't, then we have some disappointing news and we have to have conversations with them about why that is. So, one of the things we want to do is make backup easy. And one of the great ways to make it secure is to put it in what we call an immutable or a non-changeable format off-site. And one of the best off-sites in the world is the cloud itself. And so AWS actually has a storage system called S3, and it can be turned on into an immutable state. We don't need you to change your backup provider. We can integrate with any of them. As a matter of fact, these exist because we have customers who have already done this. And so, for example, if you use Veeam or Cohesity or Dell IDPA or Commvault, the, the automations already exist. And all you have to do, click the button, let it provision your infrastructure. Um, it takes most customers who do these kinds of deployments and want to integrate with their on-premise backup system. Uh, we usually do it over WebEx. It takes about 10 minutes um, total 
and um, you can start immediately backing up an immutable copy to S3 to the cloud. And as soon as you do that, you'll have low, low cost on uh, offsite storage for the um, backups that you need. So it really is an important part of your security platform, not just for data backup, but for security of your whole organization. All right, and then we have other workloads that are more advanced like Amazon AppStream. Amazon AppStream is a fairly advanced service we covered in other videos, but this is important because building an Amazon AppStream infrastructure actually takes quite some time if you were to do it manually. And so we don't want you to do that. We want you to do it automatically. <laughs> And the reason that is is because we want it done exactly the same way every time to meet AWS best standards. And so you can actually click Amazon App Stream if you don't already have it deployed and deploy it. New customer accounts is very similar to new account except for this is additional accounts. And then we have a way if you have an account that is, didn't start with NetSync and didn't start under automated automation control, we can actually import that in and you can start using it and use all the features of NetSync.io with your existing account. All of the information that we need is we're establishing a little bit of a role, some, some best practice security, and then we're pulling in a bunch of logs. Um, and that allows us to start, get the information we need, to turn on all the bells and whistles of NetSync.io. So let's talk a little bit about how we get this information from customers. So if you look down here, in the bottom left-hand corner of every single page, we have this and it says, give feedback. And believe it or not, customers will give us feedback and we want to hear it. Um, it's important because we need to hear from our customers what you need. Uh, we, like I said before, we don't build NetSync IO to keep up with any particular competitor. We build it to keep up with the needs of our customers. And so the things that are built here they're built, the, including the measure, all the billing analysis, uh, all the deployment, and all the security and operational tools that we have. Those are all built because customers asked for them and needed them. Um, and so we want to hear. So if you happen to be on any particular page and you say, man, I wish I could do this thing, then tell us. It actually goes to us. And it, it also goes to our software development team and your information is considered every time we have what's called a roadmap meeting. So we release a new version every month and we look at what our customers are asking for and we add those things to our, road, our software development roadmap and you will get to see updates around the requests that you have. Okay, so those are the two sections I wanted to cover today. Uh, again, deploy, deploy everything in an automated way, deploy it the same way over and over and over and then feedback. Feedback is so important, it's on every page. Literally on every single page of NetSync.io, it's always right here in the bottom left-hand corner. If you get to a page and you wanna see something new on it or you need a new feature, we wanna know. So tell us. All right, that's what I have for today. Again, my name is John Getty. Uh, let us know how we can help you, thanks.